K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer, and welcome to the World Tour featuring X-Plane 7. X-Plane 7, yeah. We've been doing the other X-Planes all the way back from 5 and just moving our way up. With the exception of X-Plane 11, we've already done that one. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, when it comes to this World Tour series, um, all the different flight simulators uh, from Microsoft and ProPilot and Fly uh, and X-Plane, they're all following the same flight plan. Uh, it gives you a chance to take the individual flights and uh, compare them across the different simulators just to see um, how well or how well they weren't um, uh, done in the actual simulator. Um, and plus, you know, it. you might be looking to relive some uh, old memories of some of these old uh, simulators and uh, maybe perhaps uh, start some new ones. I mean, you, you could be an X-Plane fan. Um, <clears throat> I know the community for X-Plane is, is a very passionate one. And some of you may have been curious, I wonder what the old uh, X-Planes uh, had looked like. And well, now you've got your chance to be able to... Uh, see uh, the old X-Planes as far as the, the history of them. And just like all the other simulators and X-Plane 5 and 6 and 11, we're going to be following the same flight plan. So what is that? Well, let's go ahead and talk about it. So this right here is the Commodore 64 Flight Simulator 2 map. Uh, the World Tour series started with the Commodore 64 and because I, I, I wanted to relive old memories and, well, it was my first simulator and I thought about, you know, maybe doing a series and sharing it with everyone um, because they might want to see it too. And I noticed that no, there was no one out there doing full flights with it, um, especially from airport to airport. And then I kind of expanded and I wanted to relive the memories I have with Flight Simulator 5 and 98. Um, and uh, FS9 and I thought it would be neat to fly the same flight plan and just see um, how each of these uh, areas had developed over time and then from there it expanded to simulators that I had not flown before like Flight Simulator 2002 and, and Microsoft Flight Simulators 1 through 4 um, and then the X-Planes, the old X-Planes, ProPilot, all that. Um, it just expanded from there. And it's been very interesting uh, just from a um, uh, historical uh, sense and you know, just as an entertainment sense. It's just, it's just been fun. So we're starting here like we started on all the other ones right here at Merrill C. Megs because, hey, if you're going to do a world tour, you got to start from Megs, right? I mean, that's the classic starting point to, to, to go from. Uh, I even did it on Flight Simulator 2020. Although the airport's not there anymore, uh, I was not going to let that stop me. <laughs> um, we just, we bush planed it <laughs> from, from the dirt uh, and took off. I was determined. I was, I was not going to let that uh, d distract me from what we're doing. Now, if one of these days Orbix or someone else does the uh, uh, Meg's airport uh, for Flight Sim 2020, then I'll, I'll reshoot that footage. So um, it may already be shot by the time you watch this, and it may not be. 
but uh, that's where we're at. We're at Meg's, and we're making that short little hop over here to Chicago O'Hare International. Now, what I found was interesting with this particular sim, I think we're moving. <laughs> it looks like we're moving. Um, I think we are, even though I got the parking brakes on. Not quite sure. I'm not quite understanding that. Uh, this one, Meg's is here. But the it's just like that mayor had torn it apart, torn the runways apart. Same thing here. The runways are torn apart, and it's got the X's on them. Um, you may have seen that um, as we zoomed in uh, to start off with. But let's see if we can... Um, Get ourselves moved over here. This is a pretty powerful uh, Cessna uh, for it to uh, continue moving when the uh, power is off. Now, unlike uh, X planes uh, five and six. I am not able to max the graphics on this. Um, X Plane 6, I can at least play natively on Windows 10. I can't do that with X Plane 7. No idea why. So, this is in VMware. But even so, I think you'll still. Um, I still, I think you'll still get an enjoyable experience out of this. This is the first version of X-Plane to have 3D clouds, and they cast shadows too. Now we may be able to inc uh, increase the graphics capability. Um, it's just there happens to be, well, you know, this is Chicago, so there's um, a lot of buildings here, so it's a little, a little hard there. Okay, so here is... Runway 36. Runway 36. Right? <laughs> I think it was put that way because uh, all the planes had taken off from the taxiway. But uh, we're going to try to do it right here from the actual original Runway 36. It could be a little bumpy of a ride. Naturally, these are all uh, generic buildings.
This is also uh, the first X-plane to have balloons. <laughs> uh, balloons right down there. contact ATC like we have on all the other ones. It's funny here, this is all English here. Cessna 4155 Bravo turn right heading to 90 vectors Chicago O'Hare International. They are about 12 miles from your current position. Something else that tends to happen, when the frames start to drop to a certain point, the visibility goes down. And I gotta tell you, that's really annoying. I guess we could say it's pollution or something. Once the frames start picking up, it, it'll start clearing up again. Hopefully it'll do that before we get to the airport. I guess a fog rolled in. I was able to get this to work natively on Windows 10, <laughs> but when you try to start it, it just it just instantly crashes. Got some navigation computers here, which is pretty helpful. Alpha, 
I'm putting Chicago in here. Chicago here, so I can uh, see how far away it is. Of course, I can't read it. Three minutes? <laughs> Are we flying over it, perhaps? No, not yet. Again. Cessna 4155 Bravo turn right heading 305 Vectors Chicago O'Hare International. They are about 4 miles from your current position. Okay, well. That looks like it right there. Oh, and I'm not having any control over the pitch. That was weird. Okay. I finally got the autopilot to, to disengage. It was not... It's not dis disengaging. Having a little bit of a trouble here. We're going to land over here at this uh, runway. I know there's a lot of them. It's like, which one? This one over here. <laughs> And just like the other older airplanes, um, there is no, no buildings. There is a include a program called World Maker, where you can uh, add buildings. Which I'll be looking into that. This one's kind of like flying just a little weird. It looks like the visibility cleared up. I don't know what's going on with the uh, plane, but it's wanting to pitch up for some odd reason. Look, how can you pitch up when I'm... Yeah, how's it doing that? <laughs> <laughs> How is it doing that? All right, I think. It may have been my pitch trim, but I can't seem to get that centered there. There we go, now it's centering. Alright, 
All right, now we got to find a. Uh, Here's one. Now, what's nice about this uh, X Plane 7 package, it comes on DVD, so it comes with world scenery. Looks like we're taxiing on brick. <laughs> it's the gray brick road. This is the best way to figure out where the parking spots are at. Ah, there we go. There's some over there. Of course, I could just park anywhere. Actually, this looks like this is made out of wood. <laughs> Doesn't this look like wood panels or something? Parking brake. You just click on this little light over here for brakes. American 1262, heavy Turn everything off here. Okay, we are here at Chicago O'Hare uh, before they developed it and put buildings. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this look back at X Plane 7. If so, hey, click that like button. Share the video with uh, friends, family on social media. Uh, so that way people know that, hey, there is a series out there with X-Plane 7 going from airport to airport. Never know, there may be someone out there that's interested in seeing it. So, hey, help each other out. Um, and something else that you can do is be a part of our community here. So if you haven't subscribed, you should. Be a part of the community, the killer community. We've got a great community here. And if you click that notification bell, you'll be notified of future flight simulation content, uh, such as X-Plane, because there's all kinds of X-Plane videos on here, as well as Microsoft Flight Simulator and some of the other ones. And this is not just a flight sim channel. There's other stuff here, too. So that notification bells. A pretty important thing so that way you know what is uploaded and when it's uploaded. I also do some live streaming on Twitch uh, throughout the week. Um, give me a follow over there because hey I'd love to meet you as I'm doing some live streams and at times I'll record episodes as well. It gives you a chance to be a part of the show. That's pretty cool right? <laughs> and um, like I said I'd, I'd love to be able to meet and interact with you. I also uh, have an Instagram account and uh, there I take pictures and, and photos of things that I'm working on behind the scenes just to that way you, you kind of you guys know what it is that I'm up to and then Twitter that's our official source of news and announcements uh, for the station and uh, retweets of things that I think you might find interesting I have a snapchat account uh, which I just used for fun and if you happen to have snapchat hey, you're more than welcome to add me there to it and then um, if you believe in what it is that I'm doing and you'd like to donate and help me build this channel up there is patreon 
different tier levels there and different bonuses and rewards so please check that out I appreciate it the anyways thanks so much for watching I appreciate it and I will see you on the next leg of our journey around the world have a killer awesome day <laughs>